Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a ReactJS video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to use the global and inline styles in ReactJS components. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous ReactJS tutorials. You will find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. So let's continue the tutorial's tutorial. The app.js which is a default component to our application. So what I'm doing, I'm creating one new component into our project source folder. Select the source folder, right click the mouse new file. The file name is a new style.js, enter. And here we got our JS component here. When we want to create a component, we need to import the React class. Let's import, import React from React library. After that, here I'm creating a functional component. So let's declare a variable new style. It's a function name is equals to colon and this function return method In this written method, I want to render our HTML elements. So here, I'm adding first one, h2 is to tag, my name is Charan. And after that, notice here when I try to add another element, see here I'm getting an error. The reason in ReactJS, when we want to add multiple elements, we need to add one root element, which is a due tag. So make sure when, when you want to add multiple elements, all the elements must be between this due tag, which is a root element. After that, I'm adding one simple button element, button click. That's it. Now the last most important step, we need to export default my style my function name is a new style column let's save this file save all now to render this component on the browser in our application inside the source folder there is a index.js file let's open that one here we need to configure our component if you notice here the react dom.render contains the app component which is the default component of our application so i don't want this react uh, to display app component i want to render import my component name is a new style from the path new style column and here i'm deleting app i'm adding my new component names new style that's it. Let's save this file, save all. Now it's time to run this application. To run this application, ReactJS application in Visual Studio, go to View, select Terminal, and here we got our Terminal, which is a PowerShell command prompt. Now before run this application, we need to add our application name to this path. So CD, first app. I'm changing the directory then let's add the command call npm nudget package manager start enter and here we got our output of our react component my name is Sharon, which is h1 tag and one button control now my aim is I want to implement some styles to this uh, component for that in the source folder only i'm adding one css file let's name it the same name you can add any other name also new style.css now first let's discuss about the global styles the global styles here i'm adding h1 h1 color i'm adding red and button background color 
is blue. That's it. Let's save this file. Save all. Now, I want to add this new style sheet CSS file in index.js file. So the default style sheet is index.css, which uh, we don't require, but I'm leaving like that. After the new style, I'm importing between single quotes dot forward slash new style dot css. We need to add the extension column. That's it. Let's save this file. Save all. Now let's check the new output. When I reload the browser, uh, my name is Sharon and click what happened here. New style h1. This is h2. Sorry. H2. Save this file. Now we'll check the output. See here. My name is Sharon and click. Now if you want to add uh, font size is 50 pixels. Save this file. Let's check. Now what I'll do is in app.js I'm adding one more h2 tag here. This is app component. Save the file and in index.js I want to display the app component also. So I'm adding the app component in the index.js file. Let's save this file. Compile successfully. Let's check the output. Reload the browser. See here my name is Charan. And in the React.js also, this is app component. The H2 tag is global. This is one component and this is another component. This is how we use the global styles. Now, what I'm doing, uh, here I'm adding one style called dot um, text color, text color. The color is I want to display is green. Let's save this file. If you notice here, the component one, the H2 styles contains both are red, the H2 elements. Now let's add this text color. In the new style, I want to add the color green for this H2 element. So for that, normally when we want to the class names, we use class property here. But in React.js, we use class name to add the styles. Class name is equals to between curly brackets. I'm adding the text color, which is our style name. Let's save this application. Save all. Compile successfully. Let's check the output. We got the browser. See here, my name is Chen. But here, this is app component because I'm not adding the individual style for this H2. If you want to add the uh, class name text color so this file now this also got green color I don't want to green color this let's do this one so this file we got red color now if you notice here the button color is blue color which we have written in this button color now let's implement the inline styles this is the global styles now i want to implement the inline styles for that inline styles the same achievement the text color green i don't want the class name instead of that i want to use styles if i use style here is equals to Notice here, if I type the color colon and green colon, let's save this file. So here we got some compiled warnings. 
So this is not the right way to use inline styles in React.js. For that, we have to use, let's declare a variable, give some name, let's give some styles. You can give any name to this variable is equals to, between curly brackets, here I'm adding the color, colon, now we need to add between single quotes, I'm adding green comma and font size colon 50 pixels now after that we need to add this styles variable to this h2 element so for h2 let's add the style property is equals to between curly brackets we need to add this variable styles now save this file, save all, we got a message compiled successfully, let's check the output. So here my name is Chen, let's increase the size is 150, save the file, save all, Reload out the browser, see my name is Chen. Here instead of green I am adding grey, save this file. So all, I'm reload the browser. See, my name is Charan. Let's make this text align center. Text align colon center. Save this file. It's a output. I'm reload the browser. See, my name is Charan. That's it. This is how we have to implement the styles globally and inline style sheets in React.js components. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.